Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 808 for Technical and Vocational Schools. It is Unit 6, Lesson 5, Adjective Closes. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, Project Success 2 Students Book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Three, a pen or a pencil. Three, uh, number four, a dictionary. Lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you, will, you should be able to use adjective clauses in writing sentences. So, what is an adjective clause? Let me give you an example. I picked up the papers. Now I would like to use an adjective clause to that. I picked up the papers that fell off the desk. Let me try another one. The book is very interesting. I would like to use the adjective clause. The book that he wrote is very interesting. Let's check a third example. The doctor is very nice. Use adjective clause. The doctor who works at the clinic is very nice. So, adjective clauses are used to describe a noun. Notice that papers, book, and doctor are nouns. In a sentence, and give it more information. That fell off the desk is more information to uh, papers. Also, that he wrote, more information to the book. Who works at the clinic, more information of the doctor. So, relative pronouns. We have a set of relative pronouns. For example, that, what, who, which, whom, whose, when, where, and why. But in this lesson, I'm not going to cover all of them, just three of them. That, who, and whom. All right. So, how to form the adjective uh, clauses? So, we start with a subject, a subject. And then, we add a relative pronoun, one of the nine I showed you before, and then a verb, and then a complement, which completes the sentence, and then a verb and another complement. Notice that these brackets um, denote the um, these brackets denote the uh, the relative, uh, the adjective clause. So let's check. We have the subject like the pen, and then we jump to the verb is there. The pen is there is a perfect sentence, but I would like to add an optional adjective close. So I use a relative pronoun. That. The pen that. Now I'm starting to describe the pen. I use a verb. The pen that fell off. Fell off. But it's not a complete close because I need a complement to that. I say, the pen that fell off the table, fell off the table, is there. And with that, I have used a sentence plus an adjective clause within it. Let's check another example. The man. This is a subject. Is my friend. The man is my friend. I would like to further describe the man. So I use a, an adjective clause. I say, the man who, you see? That, we use it for things. And who, we use it for people. I say the man who. The man who entered the room is my friend. All right, let's check a third example. The papers, a subject, are important. You see, papers is a plural. That is why I use are instead of is. Okay, let's add an adjective close. The papers that, that is used for things, okay? So, I add a verb, were delivered. The papers that were delivered here are important. Okay, let's check a fourth example. The kids can stay. You see, I changed the verb to be, instead of is or are, I add a model, which is can, plus the verb, can stay. The kids can stay. The kids who brought their jackets can stay. You see? Who brought their jackets, this clause is describing K 
kids. That is why we call it an adjective clause. All right, let's have a quick task. Fill in the gaps in the following. And you have a mark of three. Number one, the book, you have an empty gap, was open, is made of wood. Okay, you have to use a relative pronoun in this. Quickly do that in your uh, notebook. You have five seconds. All right, let's check the answer. That, the book that was open is made of wood. Okay, let's have a quick question. The person, Gap, just came here is my cousin. Use a relative pronoun. All right, let's check the answer. Who, the person who just came in or came here is my cousin. Third. The ladies pass by are fresh graduates. That is five seconds. Let's check. Who? The ladies who pass by are fresh graduates. It's very important to know the appropriate relative pronoun. Okay. Give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. So. This time, I'm going to introduce the adjective clauses, but pronouns as object. So this is a different set of sentence. So we start with the subject, plus. This is optional. So we use a relative pronoun, plus another subject, okay? Plus a verb, plus, plus the complement, the completion of the sentence. And then I add a verb and a complement. Okay, let's check. So, subject is like a pen, the pen. The pen, verb is there, the pen is there. Now, I'm going to use adjective clause, but this time the relative pronoun should be as an object. Let's check. You see between brackets, it's mean, it means it is optional. So that, he pushed the table. The pen that he pushed, off the table is there. The pen that he pushed off the table is there. And if we take, take out that, the pen he pushed off the table is there. You see? Both, both sentences are correct, with that or without that. Okay, let's check another one. Subject, the man. The man is my friend. I would like to use an adjective to close, but this time the relative pronoun should be an object. So I say, the man whom, uh, we cannot say who. Who, if we use the adjective, uh, the, uh, the relative pronoun as a subject, we say who. But as an object, it should be whom. The man whom I let in the room is my friend. Because I is the subject, okay? I let the man in. I let the man in. The man whom I let in the room is my friend. A third example, the, paper, the papers are important. Use an adjective clause, this time relative pronouns as objects. That she delivered here. The papers that she delivered here are important. If we take out that, the papers she delivered here are important. Both sentences are correct. The kids can stay. We use whom instead of who. You brought the jackets. Now you brought the jackets, not the kids. Okay, the kids whom you brought their jackets can stay. The kids you brought their jackets can stay. Okay, so without them, all these sentences are correct. All right, let's jump to task two. Question, write T if the sentence is correct or F if it's false. You have a mark of three. Number one, that is the bike that he brought today. Now, check if the sentence is correct, circle T. If it's false, circle F. Okay, let's check. One, two, three. Correct. That is the bike that he brought today.
That is the bike he brought today. Let's check number two. These hats whom he purchased are nice. Is this sentence correct or false? Okay, let's check. Ah, false. Why is that? Because instead of whom, whom is used for people who are objects. So these hats that he purchased are nice. Okay, third one. This is the book he read yesterday. True or false? Let's check. Ah, uh, it is true. This is the book he read yesterday. True. Give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Task number three. This time it's practice on adjective clauses. In your notebooks, answer the following. A, complete the paragraph with who, that, or nothing. This zero, if you can see it here, means nothing. You do not add anything. You just leave it there, okay? Use zero if the relative pronoun can be omitted. So if there is a choice between adding a relative pronoun or not, just leave it there. Leave it there. OK. I'm going to read it to you, and let's do it. Administrative assistants are people who work in an office helping a manager. They often solve problems. The manager doesn't have time for. The job duties they have can vary. They usually deal with any correspondence comes in for the manager. They're usually the ones answer the phone for the manager too. Let me uh, do the first one. Administrative assistants are people who are people who work in an office helping a manager. All right, you have two to five and a mark of four. And we know that because who is our people, okay. And of course, work, if you say who work, you write that because the verb comes before a subject. All right, you have three marks to do the rest.
Okay, now let's check the model answer. Number two, it's an optional. So the relative pronoun can be omitted. Three, it is the same. The relative pronoun can be omitted. Number four, you should write that. Number five, you should write who. All right, let's jump to task number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. Question, write four sentences using adjective clauses. Use two relative pronouns as subjects and two as objects, like the examples below. You have a mark of eight. This is the day that comes after a long holiday. This is the day that comes after a long holiday. So this is an example for you to follow. Write two for relative pronouns as subjects and two as objects. And you have three minutes. All right, now please check your answers, but before that, you, you have to use the self-correcting tools. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Let's check the model answer. Number one, the boy who ran fast was about to fall. This sentence should be different to yours, but you should check this sentence and compare it to yours. Number two, that tree that bore some fruit is a mango tree. This is the phone my father bought on my birthday. 
The game that you played is very interesting. Compare the, uh, the set of answers to your answers. Well done. Give yourself a tap on the back and two marks for finishing the lesson. Then calculate your mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. Now, you are able to use the adjective clauses in writing. And you should have a total mark of 20. If you have 100% correct answers, that means 20 marks, then you can proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% or above, that means 15 marks, you can go over the parts you failed in and redo them. If you have 75% or lower than that, then go over the whole lesson and redo it. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck, thank you for your attention.